Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm a queer deaf artist. Hi, my name is Bedelia and I'm a disabled artist. We're twins. <laughs> we make art uh, that is based around the deaf, disabled, queer experience. Bedelia and I are both physical movers slash dancers. We both sing, we both act, and we both have written short stories, short plays, directed, produced. Have I missed anything? <laughs> I think you're pretty good. Yeah. Since working together, there have been creepy points where... We don't uh, say anything. Yeah, but then we do know it, what each other says. Yeah, we didn't realise we did that until we worked with a whole other group of disabled and queer artists and they just would get spooked because we'd just be like, so we're doing... Yep. I had watched Jeremy do an Auslan piece. We played, I guess, a character that signed. Yeah. And then also had a sequence with Auslan and dance. And I was like, my goodness, this is amazing. And I think seeing such visible pride in your disability mm. or deafness, just it was addictive. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to communicate in my way as a mm. disabled person. Auslan choreography is like singing with the voice. It feels like I can just melodically move in my body with words. We kind of look at, I guess, big words and concepts. What's your favourite sign to delve into? I think the word express. Mm. It's just so visceral, mm. you know? I don't know, something about pulling it out of yourself. I love imagination. Me too. <laughs> I love imagination. It just... Mm. Well, with our height difference, growth is quite fun. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I wish it would actually make me grow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You stopped a while ago. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> you just kept going. <laughs> what do you think is the missing aspect in the current performance arts landscape? Like, what does it need? If you screw up, you're out. If you try and bring your personal life into it, you're out. You're blacklisted for being difficult. Yeah, you've got to be super duper flexible, always. Every time I'm in a dance space, every time, even if I am proud as punch <laughs> to be disabled, I'm the only disabled person in the space. And whilst it's like diversity card chucked right in there, I'm in a rehearsal where they're like, all right, time to do some backflips. Time to do some weird rolly you know, stuff that's just, I can't do that. And I have to like remind myself in this space again and again against this crashing wave to just push my body way too far. Into back where you were. So when creating our art, we provide instead adaptability from the heads. So we are of the understanding, bring your stuff into the door because that is unique. That is your story specifically with our work. It is about your story. Mm. It is about your essence. For example, I can't leave my deafness out the door. The flexibility for me uh, just feels like I can breathe because I spent way too long at not breathing <laughs> and feeling like I'm holding my breath in every space, in the arts I'd be in. But now being the flexible space, I'm putting myself back together. For me, the body can't lie and the infinite expression within Auslan and the complexities, the nuances are just so limitless that it is so easy to create art and integrate stories and emotions through it all.